Good afternoon, gentlemen. Gonna have a look at the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker today. This is a really useful model, I think, for around the home. So let's see what it's got. So this model has uh, many of your standard Victorinox tools found in uh, loads of the models. Got your, your large main blade, really easy to sharpen and to keep sharp with a quick touch up, really co corrosion resistant. You got your secondary smaller blade, really good for fine tasks. I would use this one for opening packaging and stuff like that, because uh, that tends to really gunk up your blades. And I'd reserve the, the larger blade for bigger tasks. And if I was doing food prep or something, I'd use that. Although I do always have a slight worry that the thumb notch isn't probably the most hygienic thing on a Swiss Army knife, and you might get bacteria and stuff in there. But anyway, then you got the excellent cap lift tool with a wire stripper notch a flathead phillips driver on there and this is a really nice sturdy tool good as a light use pry bar great for opening cans of paint stuff like that and on the other side you've got the great can opener tool works pretty well as a backup can opener got a smaller flathead driver on there which is great for phillips screws and this little sharpened bit here is a great kind of scraping blade really good to have i like to have the separate opener layer on my victorinox knives then on the back you've got the excellent awl excellent for uses of a uh, ferro rod striker hole punch it can be used for sewing for field repairs really good a scraper blade excellent little tool to have and the controversial i would argue not very useful uh, universal hook parcel carrying hook good for you good uh, Good to use for pulling tent pegs or dragging corpses by the nostrils. Really useful. You also get the scissors, the brilliant large Victorinox scissors. Really useful. Great for nail maintenance or small cutting tasks, cutting shapes. Really useful to have good for first aid as well and stuff like that. Chopping herbs. I don't know. Scissors. Next up, the Victorinox pliers. These are quite controversial as well. A lot of people arguing, well, what use is a pair of tar pair of pliers this tiny they're excellent for fine detailed work if i'm doing like guitar maintenance or small electronics and stuff like that they're excellent for gripping and holding you've certainly got more torque and power in these for, for light use than you have in your fingers for some small nuts and bolts and things like that there are little wire cutters in there a wire bender here they're handy to have i think for stuff around the home these get used quite a bit only obviously for really small tasks but yeah they're, they're good they're well worth having they're the reason i bought this model and i have used them a lot for stuff around the home not going to replace dedicated pliers or leatherman pliers or anything but they've definitely got their place and their uses and the other thing on the tinker that you get is the back side phillips driver this is a nice size driver um, I do have a bit of an issue with these backside Phillips drivers because of where it is and the shape of the handle. If you're using this because of the shape of the handle, you're really limited as to where you can get this into in corners and stuff. You're going to struggle. Also, you still can't put that much torque and power into using these because you'll, you'll bend the liners out of alignment. So while a lot of people do prefer the Phillips driver over the corkscrew, as on say uh, we've got a spartan here you get the corkscrew instead of the phillips driver me i generally prefer having the corkscrew great for emergencies with wine on the rare occasions you get a corked bottle nowadays but useful for, for me i wear glasses and i also find this mini flathead driver really good on tiny phillips screws like in kids toys so that goes in there yeah the corkscrew is good for untying knots and also it can be used to store the, uh, the, the tortoise gear spiral tinder that goes in there and you can get a little the fire ant i think it is so you can get a tinder and ferro rod set that go in there that's great oh the pin slot there to store the little pin really useful sim card ejector tool pop, pop blisters uh, reset electronics gadgets dead useful to have a pin at no weight penalty also of course the toothpick and the tweezers it's a good model i keep this in my kitchen drawer generally if i'm pottering around the home i'll just shove this in my pocket and it comes in great for a number of urban home-based diy tasks i like it 
as an EDC, for me personally, this is a little bit bulky and heavy and thick. I mean, it's not too thick. It's still a compact tool, isn't it? But for pocket carry out and about, I, I wouldn't really take this if I'm out on civvy street. I prefer a much slimmer tool like the uh, the Spartan or, you know, or the compact or maybe even one of the 58 millimeter models if I'm just mooching about in in public or whatever this this for me is a better tool for around the home where it's not gonna you're not gonna be bothered about having an unsightly bulge in your pockets are you pleased to see me or is that a deluxe tinker in your pocket uh, yeah what do you reckon deluxe tinker it's good really glad i've got it great little tool but for me a little bit big for general out and about urban pocket carry let me know what you think i'd love to hear from you Thank you very much. Au revoir.